You've probably seen characters in entertainment and cartoons with big heads that signal their big brains and high intelligence. But is this just entertainment and fantasy, or is it actually the case that people with big heads are intelligent? We will take a closer look at that in this video. And by the way, if you like this video, remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Studies show that people with big heads also have big brains, and although intelligence is difficult to define, everything suggests that the size of the brain has an influence on how intelligent we are. You can almost think of it as a bigger engine is often also a more powerful engine. Experiments with siblings who have grown up in the same environment show a tendency for the brother or sister with the largest head and thus the largest brain volume, to also do better in IQ tests. In another experiment, the researchers found areas in the DNA called SNPs, which showed a clear connection between skull size, IQ, and level of education. The researchers believe that humans' large brains are probably the result of natural selection for high intelligence, which has been important for the survival of the species. But that's not all because researchers have also found that large brains decay more slowly. People with big heads not only boast big brains and high intelligence, they are also better protected against losing the so-called cognitive abilities with age. In a study from the University of Southampton in England, 215 people aged 66 to 75 were evaluated with an intelligence test and a memory test. Three and a half years later, they were tested again. Subjects with large heads did significantly better in the intelligence test and showed less impairment of memory during the period. The risk of cognitive impairment was five times as high in the subjects with the smallest heads. Researchers have also conducted a study with the objective to quantify the relationship between brain volume and head circumference from early childhood to adulthood and quantify how this relationship changes with age. The methods they used were to obtain measures of whole brain volume and head circumference of 76 healthy normal males aged 1.7 to 42 years from MR images. The results they got were interesting. Across early childhood, brain volume and head circumference both increase, but from adolescence onwards, brain volume decreases while head circumference does not. Because of such changing relationships between brain volume and head circumference with age, a given head circumference was associated with a wide range of brain volumes. However, when grouped appropriately by age, head circumference was shown to accurately predict brain volume. Head circumference was an excellent predictor of brain volume in 1.7 to 6-year-old children, but only an adequate predictor in 7 to 42-year-olds. The conclusion? Using head circumference as an accurate indication of abnormal brain volume in the clinic or research setting the patient's age must be taken into account. With knowledge of age-dependent head circumference to brain volume relationship, head circumference, particularly in young children, can be an accurate, rapid, and inexpensive indication of normalcy of brain size and growth in a clinical setting. So, there you have it. Having a big head does in fact have a connection to intelligence, and big-headed people also tend to keep their cognitive abilities longer. Do you know any big heads? Why don't you tell them? And if you are one of these big headed people, congratulations. We hope you liked this video. Share your comments down below and hit the like button. We'll see you in the next video.